This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 8, verses 28 to 34. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. They landed in the country of the Gadarenes and were met by two madmen, victims of demons coming out of the cemetery. The man had territorized the region for so long that no one considered it safe to walk down that stretch of road anymore. Seeing Jesus, the madman screamed out, What business do you have giving us a hard time? You are the Son of God. You were not supposed to show up here yet. Off in the distance, a herd of pigs was grazing and rooting. The evil spirits begged Jesus, If you kick us out of these men, let us live in the pigs. Jesus said, Go ahead, but get out of here. Grace. The pigs stamped it over a cliff into the sea and drowned it, scared to death. The swineherds bolted. They told everyone back in town what had happened to the madman and the pigs. Those who heard about it were angry about the drowned pigs. A mob formed it and demanded that Jesus get out and not come back. The Gospel of the Lord Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 8, verses 28 to 34. One way or another, the Gospel readings these days discuss the risks involved in going into unfamiliar places and situations. There is something comforting about sticking to what we know, to what we feel safe and familiar to us. Together with the disciples, Jesus travels to the pagan territory of Gadara. A Gentile territory was the scene of the incident. The presence of pigs and tombs, both sources of uncleanliness, confirmed that the Jews would not have preferred that location. But why did Jesus go to this unclean territory? There was no Jewish community there. Jesus and his disciples had no acquaintance in this region. Moreover, the first entry of Jesus and his disciples is into the place of the people possessed by demons, the tombs. Clearly, the Gentile territories identified the context of the Roman Empire as under the control of the demons. Unquestionably, they were fierce. In an attempt to gain control over Jesus, they called him Man of God. The people of Gadara lived very quietly. They had the problem of the demoniacs, but they had them chained in the cemetery. The people of Gadara may have desired freedom from demon possession, but not at the expense of their wealth, comfort and security. Matthew suggests that Jesus could not do anything else besides healing those two demoniacs in this region. After this, he was forced to leave the region. The pigs abrupt rushed to the lake and their drowning in it was reminiscent of Israel's defeat of its former oppressor, Egypt, and the certainty of God's liberating action. But what Jesus does is not appreciated by the Gentiles. Matthew makes it clear that the Gentile citizens of the town did not want liberation. As happened so often with oppressive regimes, those who were oppressed colluded in their own oppression. The price of freedom seemed too much. They were still worried about losing their wealth. That's why they wanted him to leave the country. Despite being somewhat demonized, we still prefer the advantages of security and wealth, which brings us comfort 
status and pleasure and we do not want Jesus to enter those areas can we identify them the lord wants to heal us provided we are willing to give up the demonized areas of our pleasures and comfort zones